listen, tonight we're about to play one of the most important games of the season, okay? Especially after last week where our defense got beat and, to be honest, to their credit, played very good in the second half and did lock down on certain drives. But for the most part, they got shredded by C.J. Stroud, one of the best rookie quarterbacks of pretty much the last five, six years. With that being said, there is a place, and I always say this in every single video, and I think it's very important to talk about, accountability, right? Because the first way to fix a problem, the first way to fix and find a solution for an issue is accountability. To look at something and say, this is what happened, this is where we went wrong, and this is where we need to improve. And when you have a short week where you play on Sunday and then you play on Thursday, it's really hard to correct all those wrongdoings and correct all those mistakes, right? What really came down to it at the end of the game, whether it was a Tyler Boyd drop touchdown or anything else, when, I think it was Tank Dell, I want to say it was Noah Brown, when we had a tackle, a routine tackle that would have held them to pretty much almost impossible field goal range for the new kicker, Jermaine Pratt, and I think it was, I want to say it was um, Nick Scott, combined to miss a tackle for them to get into better field goal range and eventually win the game. And plays like that cannot happen. And throughout this game, it was very clear and apparent in that Texans game that, listen, we could not tackle their guys. We could not tackle them. We could not get them on the ground. And no matter how hard we tried or no matter what we did, it did not change a single damn thing, right? That was very clear throughout the game. Lou talked about right after the game, right when he left the stadium, he was already receiving texts from his defensive players. And these are what the text was talking about. The tackling. Taking accountability and learning and getting better from the situation that happened. Cincinnati Bengals defense coordinator Lou Anarumo says the players were texting him with corrections within an hour of Sunday's loss to the Houston Texans. At the end of the day, coaches are there to win games for the players. They're there to call the plays, make corrections, lead the team, and figure out what needs to happen and what needs to be fixed and changed. The players... And I want to stress this off. The captains of the team on offense, on defense, their responsibility is to make sure on the field things get corrected. And while they always say, you know, we said this offseason a lot, Brian Callahan said a lot too, where Joe has really stepped up in taking leadership of this offense in the aspect of, you know, yes, while Brian Callahan is the offense coordinator, he wants to see Joe become more of the coach. And that's exactly what he has done. And that's what defensive captains need to do too. They need to step up and say, okay, here's what we need to fix. Here's what we need to work on. Because at the end of the day, the coaches can only do so much, right? You only have so much practice during the week where you can kind of go down and say, this needs to be fixed, this needs to be fixed, this needs to be fixed. The defensive player, what it is, Sam Hubbard, Trey Hendrickson, Jermaine Pratt, Logan Wilson, you know, etc. Needs to step up, DJ Rio too. Step up and say, okay, here's what we need to make adjustments with. Here's how we're going to get better. And here's how we're going to make sure this never happens again. And to be honest, throughout the season so far, our defense has been not the greatest at tackling. We have missed a lot of tackles this season and has been a very poor tackling team. For the most part, we've had some really good tackles, but very questionable tackles as well. So with that being said, this is a huge bright spot in a very negative loss on Sunday. Again, at the end of the day, I am over the loss on Sunday. It is what it is. We played a great team. We played what I think is going to be a playoff team, and we lost. Nonetheless, here's what he had to say about the situation. He said, I wish I had the answer to that one. Yesterday, it wasn't what was uh it wasn't up to what was uh, what it needed to be. We don't have time for tackling drills, but we're going to find time. And that was pretty much his game plan throughout this week of process of how he was gonna figure out, you know, how are we gonna fix this tackling problem, this tackling issue, going into again, like I said before. One of the most important games of the season. A divisional game that really, at the end of the year, will determine who wins the AFC North or not. 
And with all the players injured, all the problems in this game, we're going to have to rely on our defense tonight more than we have ever relied on our defense before. And it's really going to come down to, again, Sam Hubbard is out. We also have T. Higgins out. We have Yoshi out. We have a lot of players out tonight. And we're going to have to figure out a way to overcome that and get better and figure out a way to, you know, get things on track. And again, I love it to see players taking accountability, seeing where they messed up, you know, owning up for it, but not dwelling on it. And that's the biggest thing you got to worry about. And especially in a short week like this, at the end of the day, it's very easy to go to the locker room, be upset, be sad, be, you know, just not 100% and say, woe was me, woe was we, woe was me. But at the end of the day, you play a game in four days. You play the Baltimore Ravens on Thursday Night Football. This is the game that you have to win. And if you sit there playing woe is me every single 10 seconds, you're not going to win on Thursday. So the fact that DJ Reader and these guys on this defense, captain, stepping up saying, listen coach, this is where we need to fix this crap. This is where we're going to get better. And this is where we're going to continue to progress. This is what you want to see out of a championship team. That right there tells me again and again and again, it reassures me about this team is a championship team. And again, other people in the league can think that we're not a championship team because we lost to the Texans on Sunday. That's perfectly okay. We don't need the you know recognition from anyone else in the league. How we play our best football is when we are underdogs, when we are doubted. When people think we have nothing left. There was so many people on the league that said we weren't going to beat the 49ers. So many people on the league said we weren't going to beat the Bills. So many people on the league said we weren't going to win any of these games. Especially after our slow start and we weren't getting going. There's so many people doubting us. And that's perfectly okay. Because that's exactly what we need. Doubt us as much as you want. And see the results in the end. And again, like I said, tonight... I fully, and I know I might be crazy to say this, I 1,000% think we're going to win. And I've told you this before, I have this weird gut feeling where I feel like we're just going to find a way tonight to do it. And, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, if we don't, we don't. You know, we'll keep going, we'll keep grinding, we'll get better, and we'll try to work on it. And we'll get to that, you know, hopefully wild card playoff spot. At the end of the day, though, I have a feeling we're going to win tonight, and I have a feeling we will go win a Super Bowl this year. I truly believe that. 1,000% bottom of my heart, I think we will win a Super Bowl this year. It's going to be a long year, but we're going to have to bring a, a trophy home to the Queen City. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.